Welcome to Never Square. <laughs> we have the wonderful Kim Lane joining Thank us you. as our featured guest today. Yeah, welcome, Kim awesome. Lane. Thank you. Contrasted nicely in the purple. Well, I knew, so I knew we had green wall, right? And I wear green a lot because it's one of three colors I can wear and not look sick or horrible. <laughs> And so I chose the purple because it would contrast with the oh, wall. Nice. Isn't that the opposite of green? Like if you're staring at a green wall for a while and look at a white wall, would you see purple? You see red. I guess you can test it. Yeah. Oh, you see red. That's the opposite. I think so. Oh, yeah. But today's oh, significant for you guys regarding this wall, right? Yes. yes. I'm gonna it miss is. this wall. <laughs> so this is the last <laughs> video that you guys are gonna see of Neville's Corner with this particular green wall. Yeah. Say bye. Yeah, that oh. makes me sad to happy for you guys. Yeah. It sounds like you're. Moving towards something bigger. <laughs> yeah. You're a good video to have as a special occasion. Yay. This is a good one. Yeah, awesome. Of all people, we're happy you're exactly. here on the last video. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we're, we usually just hop right into things and get music okay. started. Um, so we're going to do the coin flip you call it in the air. Okay. If you get it right, um, you get to choose whether you go first okay. or not. If you get it wrong, you just go first. Okay. Right? Fair. All right, what's yeah. going to be? What's going to be? I'm choosing. Oh, yeah. Choosing. I'm going to choose that my hosts go first. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you chose. What's <laughs> Awesome. Okay. Let's see. Well, um, I think we're going to start with um, number one. This is a song that I wrote during the transition in my life. Um, it's called Wish Upon a Star. 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 Wish Upon a there's usually a lot of choices, and it's usually pretty difficult to make. Were you glad for the outcome? Yeah. Good. Yeah. I'm here yeah. with you. Well, <laughs> okay. 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 Days go by like a speeding train Left standing on the platform in the pouring rain Too many trains have gone to pass me by But help me find my bride Oh, there's too many choices, there's too many roads Made too many mistakes Somebody help me figure out which way to go Advice I'm given is to follow your heart Remind you that there's back to the start Should I reset? Should I start again? But now I feel I need a friend Oh, there's too many choices, there's too many roads, it's 
I like your uh, summer song a lot too. Oh yeah, that's because that's yeah. you're a teacher. So. That gets stuck in my head too. <laughs> it's, that's one of your songs whenever I hear it, uh, it, it really gets stuck in my head. So I enjoy that a lot. I, I, I don't know if I should sing it then right now to remind people that so it's not stuck in your head. <laughs> well, no, I'm okay with that because the other things that are stuck in my head, you know, you're going to be there. All right then. Love it, love it. So, so you're, you're relatively new to writing music, right? Is that true? or No, no? Not, not exactly. Okay. I'm, I'm new to playing music in public. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I've been playing guitar for a long time. Okay. Not well, but I've <laughs> been playing guitar for a long time. And when I decided to start playing publicly, uh, I got up to speed pretty well. But I've recently been working with John Chain. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. I actually have a lesson with him tomorrow, sure. too, because I plateaued. You know, I'm doing some good finger picking, I'm doing some good strumming, but truthfully, my sense of rhythm is um, not, it's not balanced with my voice. You know how you do some things pretty well, and other things you've got to get up to speed on. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I want my guitar playing to match my voice, because that's my primary instrument. Yeah. And I want it to match the writing that's happening. And I know that's where I am right now, so I hired the best I could get. Oh, yeah. John Chain's a good choice. Well, he's he, in. He just won like uh, Master Blues Champion or something. Oh, I forget what it is. Yeah, but. it was written up in the Indie, you know, huge. So I'm very grateful that he even took me as a student. Um, and he seems like a fabulous person. So yeah. I'm pretty excited about yeah. that. Cool. So yeah, the past year and a half, I left the house with my guitar in January of 2018 awesome. with John Stevens, my friend who I don't know if he's been on here, but. He had an open mic. He said, we ought to come on out, because he heard me sing at school, and he was like, really, I'll try this. So uh, he was super instrumental in getting me some confidence to do this. Awesome. Really yes. He's been a good friend. Yeah, we know John. Yeah. He's a good dude. Cool, so can you uh, share one of your songs? Why, well, sure. This one seems fitting today. What, what's it called? It's called The Hard Way. I wrote this song a couple months ago.
Foundation that is dedicated to finding a cure for multiple myeloma. So Kenny and I are both endurance runners, mm -hmm. and uh, we run like I have exercise anaphylaxis. I am allergic to exercise. I have no joke. Exercise induced asthma. Is that yeah, the same thing? It's it's similar. Uh, I, probably not as bad. There's some <laughs> exercises I can't do, uh, like CrossFit. I can't do too fast. My heart rate goes too fast. And I have an anaphylactic closing mm -hmm. of my throat. So anyway, you know we we run with these conditions that we probably shouldn't. Maybe we yeah. shouldn't be running, I don't know. Um, but uh, Kenny runs with multiple myeloma and has been doing so for quite some time. He ran across the state of North Carolina. Whoa. He ran and hiked the Mountain Tennessee Trail. And he's fixing to do a 100 mile run in November. Hmm. And so Throwing Bones Foundation for finding a cure for multiple myeloma. Wow. Check it out if you're interested. He's always raising money for that because there's not a cure yet. Um, it's really hard to get into remission. Right. Yep. Wow. Um, does he like that song? He does, you know, yes, I, I debuted yes, it yes. on uh, Whoop Ass the Hat uh, last year, and, and he was listening, I think, I think he dug it. Yeah. So, I mean, who doesn't want to have a song written about their badassery, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> you can write a song about me next. Okay. <laughs> I'm on my list of things to do. <laughs> She's like, I'm going to do that. <laughs> um, I was going to say that you, uh, your lyrics sound very much like poetry. Do you have a background in poetry? Kind of do. <laughs> Did that look natural? <laughs> so natural. Easy. Well, yeah. Smooth That's like the, the song you had about the about it. How natural Brian is. <laughs> How poetry is, is the background. I have been writing music for a long time, and I've sold a couple of songs. Um, but performing music has always been this mountain for me to climb. It's, I'll sing behind people, and I've only started getting up doing that. But I've been performing poetry since I was uh, right out of college. Oh, wow. And I discovered and was discovered by this thing called Poetry Slam, which at the time was very grassroots. And now it's so much part of the zeitgeist. And, and I was fortunate enough with the team of Asheville, North Carolina, we won the National Poetry Slam in 1995. Ooh, wow. And that launched my life, for real. It, it led to everything, including me becoming a teacher. 
Oh, wow. Because I had worked for a company called Poetry Live in Asheville. They're still based there. And I would travel doing poetry. And then on my own, I also traveled and did poetry workshops. And, and I've written uh, four books now, three chapbooks and one book. The latest is The Marathon Years, uh, available at Amazon. Uh, and so, yeah, it's my oh. memoir of uh, mothering in midlife and um, moxie. So can you, yeah. can you give us a sample of like, a poem that you write? Yeah, I can do a shorty. Okay, cool. uh, Let me think, what's a good shorty here? Um, the naming about my daughter. Oh, now, yeah. It's kind of a metaphorical how she was named. Great pregnancy, challenging delivery. Okay. Oh, right. Almost took me out. Um, Sorry to put you on the spot. No, it's fine. It's, I always <laughs> have some poetry in my head. Um, when my daughter asks me about how she was born, I pause. The story of how babies are made, that is locked and loaded. I am ready to go with that. But the story of how she was born, I hesitate. Long, long ago, I was raised in a cornfield between two houses in Indiana. Each afternoon in spring, the sky turned green and the winds began to whirl. We would rush to the cellar each day at three to avoid the twisters. And so, 10 years ago, the wind began to howl. Tornadoes, you know, they are twisting, undulating girls. They're all swindling hips. They're all broken teeth. And so when April, one day, the wind began to blow. Completely undone, just like all those homes before. I looked you in the eye, much like a hurricane, and I named you. <laughs> that one was uh, that was one that was published on a project called Poetry in Public Spaces, okay. and they did broadsides. It was based out of Winston Salem. They did broadsides of poems, and that one was posted on uh, windows throughout in, in businesses throughout North Carolina. Oh wow! They um, seen it, and that's one of my favorites. I I do enjoy that one because I, I tell my daughter she doesn't quite get it yet, but she will. I hope she's not weirded out by me writing poetry about her. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's good stuff. My, my mom writes poetry too, and I'm sure she's written something about me. I just haven't figured out which one to do. Yeah, I hope I'm not so. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, gigs. Do you have poetry speaking, music gigs? What, what, what's you coming up where out. people can come see you? I am playing uh, at Salvation Coffee House mm, the next weekend, not this weekend, but next. Okay. Uh, I just got a notification. I'm playing Centerfest in oh, Durham, yeah. and I'm playing at the Carver Music Festival. Right. Yeah, yeah awesome. I'm pretty pumped about that. Uh, Centerfest will be there during the lunchtime hour, like 11:50 to 12:30. Not sure which stage yet. Uh, I'm opening for the Yard Arm at mm -hmm. Nash Street. I love the Yard Arm. I love them so much. Oh, cool. Yeah, they're I mean, saw them at the station. I think. Yeah, they're they're wonderful. They have this kind of REM Wilco sound that I super dig. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm opening for them on, I think, the 27th at Nash Street Tavern. Oh, right. And, oh gosh, what I'm, July 27th? Yeah, July 27th, yeah. And I know I'm forgetting. I've got a few things lined up. But all this is on your website? It's all on my, I'm better at keeping it organized on my website. I always have to check my calendar. All right. Whenever. Oh, and I'm on uh, Pass the Hat. That was the oh, thing I forgot. Awesome. On, uh, I'll be hosting, uh, for a handful of dates with them. Like, whenever one of the guys takes a break, uh, they'll oh, text me, like, you know, it's the show. And this time they did some advanced yeah. weddings. So thanks, guys. Oh. <laughs> and uh, I'll be on the show, I think, on the Friday, August 9th. Okay. Yeah, for the, cool. I think, the 7 o'clock hour. Awesome. So yeah, Bob Johnson and Kirk Ridge, if you know, that's going to be yeah, really fun. Some of our favorite people on yeah. the show. Yeah. I mean, they are the fine, they're like y'all. They're very good at making space for others and being advocates for local art. Like there are people who they put their money in the pot. When you go see local music, put some money in the tip jar because that's the money that the artists are making. Yeah. Um, and we're working really hard to provide everyone like a truly authentic experience. Yeah. So you have one last song for us? I do. Yeah, I'm gonna pull up 12 string for this. 12 string, nice. Yeah, I'll, I'll Thank you. Yeah, put away, this is my new guitar, Marty. 
with the, the new guitar strap that says keep running. So if you ever see a hashtag that says keep running, mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm the only one who has that, but I have two hashtags, keep Kim running and keep running. <laughs> so, um, and that's my uh, little message to the world, y'all keep on running. <laughs> So if you do that, the, but I do, I hear, I have other friends who play it, and there's this wonderful kind of discordance about it that I love. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun to play that. It's cool. I've never tried one, really, except You know, it's actually easier on the fingers. I don't know how you feel about mandolin, but 
because you're pressing on two strings, it's covering more surface oh, area. Yeah, so it builds good. bigger calluses. So if you're a guitar player, you're like, oh, better calluses. <laughs> Get a 12 string. Because I really did, and the action on this is really low. This is a this is a Mitchell, and I love the sound of this thing. Um, but the action is super low. It's just really easy on your fingers. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us. Today. Thank you. Um, anything <laughs> else you want Facebook world and to know about? Well, thank you for supporting local music and support what they're doing. They're, check their website out uh, because when they show up, other artists show up. They're really awesome at making space for others and sharing that space in a really gracious way. So go see them because you'll see other cool people too. Speaking of which, come to Vibe every Tuesday. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be there tonight. Dean Driver, right? Oh, yeah. Dean yeah. Driver tonight. Um, well, or it's going to air Wednesday. Or Tuesday, what day? Oh, yeah. I don't know what, I don't know what day it is. Never mind, hi. Yeah, yeah. He was great. He was great he was last time. He was so good. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Awesome. Well, um, this is our last uh, recording in this space here, and so um, I figured we'd play our song Standing Still which is all about not, um, not being done. able to stay in one place. I, I, I move a lot. Yeah. And this is just another one of the hundreds of moves I made in my life. Um, and so we figured we'd play this to end it up. Nice. It's called Standing Still. And if you stick around to the end of the song, I'm going to show you my whole apartment so that you can see what you can make out of nothing. They're getting HGTV <laughs> for free. <laughs> HGTV. Always began one afternoon. I packed them back, said I grew on two. Someplace far off in the west. Someplace far. see this neighborhood see there's a pool <laughs> so a pool. you can make something out of nothing do it inspiration yeah. 
take care, keep running.